open that up. Yeah, son. I think you've waited long enough. About time. I've been wondering what this was for all December. <laughs> what is this thing? Well, it is called a Furbo the Magnificent. I know that Furbies are kind of outdated, but we thought that since you wanted a new pet to be friends with Mr. Furface, that Furbo here would be a perfect way to prove to us that you can handle the responsibility. Yeah, it's, uh, it's actually pretty high tech. It'll pick up on what you say and eventually you'll be able to have conversations with it. <laughs> the crazy things they do with computers and the internet and laptop machine things. Yeah, it'll, sure, they'll be pretty basic conversations at first, but uh, they'll kind of be like a brother that you never had. Yeah, I can get used to this. How do you turn it on? Here's the sheet of instructions that it came with. Congratulation on your Furbo adoption. You are embarking on a journey of friendship, responsibility, and playtime. Requires six AA batteries, not included. Oh, jeez, Pops, we forgot the batteries. Honey! What? Where are the batteries for the Furbo? The what? into your mouth. Not installed. Fed. I'm alive, Ben. Alive? But if you're alive, then what's with all these Furbies? I'm a real Furbo as they appear in the wild. Furbies were merely based on myself and my brethren. A cheap substitute until mankind's most accomplished Furbo hunters could figure out how to capture us. Well, why didn't you say anything when you were all packaged up? Just because I'm an animal doesn't mean I like to ruin surprises, Ben. What's your deal, and why do you want to eat Mr. Furface? We all need to eat, Ben. And besides, I'll need my strength. Strength for what? I'll need strength to accomplish my mission of bringing the Furbo story to the whole world. And to take over said world. What do you mean, the Furbo story? The history of the Furbos is the best kept secret in the history of the world. In ancient times, humans and Furbos lived in peace. Then, out of jealousy for all the Furbos had accomplished, the humans destroyed our only Furbo city, Atlantis, and all the remains sank to the bottom of the ocean. From there, the Furbos fled to Africa, where we gave Furbo eggs as payment to the Egyptians in order to live with them. I'm sure you've heard of the Sphinx of Giza. Well, that great sculpture was an homage to my great, 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 great grand Furbo, Furbonius Maximus the Fourteenth, our great leader who forged the alliance with the Egyptians. Yet no one can tell it's supposed to be a Furbo because the beak was broken off in the 14th century. <laughs> After some time, the great desert heat took its toll on my race. 
The female Thurbos could no longer produce enough eggs for the Egyptian aristocracy, so we were forced to leave. Mama, I'm a noble no more, so. Ever since then, we've been living with various Sasquatch tribes all over the world, occasionally being caught on tape by Sasquatch enthusiasts. And now we have come to exact our revenge, and all with your help! You want to take over the world? I would never be a slave to anything as dastardly or as adorable as you. Mom, Dad! They'll never hear you! They're too busy having Christmas sex. There's gotta be something in this manual about getting rid of you. Ah, here it is. Remember, kids, your Furbo will always want to chow down, so don't forget to feed it. But no matter how much it begs, don't let him get wet. <coughs> try to infringe on others' rights need to be stopped. So I killed him. I dumped water in his face and I killed him. Because he's evil. Do you realize how much this big furball cost? Honey, calm down. Remember your blood pressure. Besides, oh, you had a lot of excitement today. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose you're right. It was only money. I just don't understand how this toy can be so malevolent. Ooh, honey, good word. Yeah. You're grounded, son. Now, go shovel a walk or make some real friends. <laughs> Kids these days don't know nothing about nothing anything. While he's outside, how about we go back upstairs? Yeah, first one there gets to wear the helmet. <laughs> 